Secure the wood pedal in a vise. Attach a plastic pedal end to one side of the pedal. Do not over tighten the screws. Screw the other wood pedal to the plastic end. Continue attaching plastic ends to one side of each pedal. Install the double pedal first. Install a plastic pedal in on the crank. Secure the double pedal in a vise. Screw the plastic pedal in to the wood pedal. Install the second single pedal on the crank. Secure the plastic pedal in to the wood pedal. Install a single pedal on the short crank. Install clamps on the left crank support. Do not tighten the clamps at this time. Install the plastic adjusting collar. 
Do not tighten at this time. Install the crank into the pedal bearing from the inside. Install the plastic spacer. Install the plastic end of the crank strut. Measure and mark the location for the quarter inch hole. Drill a quarter inch hole through the frame. Install a 3 inch bolt through the hole. Install a washer and standard nut. Tighten the nut to secure to the frame. Install a nylon lock nut to the bolt. The nylon nut is used to adjust the crank support. Install the crank strut in over the bolt. Slide the front sprocket on the pedal shaft. Adjust the sprocket on the shaft and tighten the set screw. Install the right crank support on the inside of the frame. Install the clamp at the top, but do not tighten at this time. Install the clamps on the lower crank support and do not tighten. Slide the short crank into the right pedal bearing. Tighten the set screw. After the pedal shaft is adjusted, tighten the plastic adjusting collar. Run the chain around the front sprocket, rear sprocket, and derailleur. Use a chain brake tool and remove any links to adjust the chain tension. Turn the crank. Change gears and check derailleur movement. Make any adjustments necessary for proper alignment. Adjust crank support by turning the nylon nut. After crank adjustments are made, tighten all crank support clamps.
Be sure to watch part 14. I will install the brake system. Thanks for watching.